a friend of my brother's was playing cricket uh, for a team called Muslim Friends who said there's a new Asian league just started and um, so we actually started a team up then um, which was uh, I think maybe about four or five people had played at school before which had been probably oh so if I was 21 probably last time they'd played probably 10 years ago uh, something like that um, and the rest were made up with my other brothers just to get 11 people. Some of my friends, our friends who were uh, played in the football team. So we had a guy who was like a goalkeeper who became a wicketkeeper. The only real time I can say, well, I watched, watched cricket was when India won the World Cup. And I think that's when the interest became a bit more. Sunday was our night, play the game, go have a few drinks, have something to eat in a restaurant and that was our, that was it. that's what it was all about. I became like the secretary and we used to go to the committee meetings and then all of a sudden you found oh these people are playing and um, in the meetings were like uh, what's going to happen this this month you know we'd have people handing in let you know the solicitors letters and uh, uh, you know uh, it was that it meant that much to people which to us, it was a bit of fun. But then you saw how serious these people, it meant the world to them. That Sunday game meant everything. Our home ground used to be at Leeds Road in Huddersfield. And that was um, like a big ground. And there was like maybe four or five matches going on. And so you would all see what was happening. Back in them days, you probably wouldn't get a, a uh, you know, a private ground because they wouldn't want Asians playing on their ground or stuff. So we were playing on Leeds Road. So then everybody knew what, what everybody was doing, you know, in the in the games. And, you know, then, you know, you maybe we start watching a game after if you finished early. That, you know, was exciting. And yeah, that, that I, mean, we, I always remember Leeds Road was a, a fantastic meeting place for maybe. So you'd have maybe eight teams playing there, you know, just fantastic. I found all the sort of um, the English clubs had their own facilities, they could do what they wanted. Um, that started to get under my skin that why with so many Asians playing this one sport of cricket that they not one club has their own facility um, and that you were like you know like a lodger and anytime they can say oh no you can't play here. That's when we joined the Leeds League uh, wasn't very easy at all. First of all we had to uh, have plenty of meetings with the um, Leeds City Council to find us a, um, a piece of land. Finally ended up at a place called the Prin Prince Philip Centre um, which we redeveloped. We got recommendations from the Leeds League to uh, uh, what we ne what facilities we needed, you know, like fencing and uh, this, that, the other, and uh, I don't think they actually expected us to do it. But when we did it and went back to them and said, "Okay, we've done that. Can you come and inspect it now?" Uh, I think that threw them a bit, and even then they didn't. They turned our application down, so we we gave them. Uh, these points where we said we'd be the uh, best dressed club, we would have the, the, as a good a ground as we could make. Um, our discipline would be, you know, um, A1. And so we said that, okay, even if we win the league and our everything and the discipline's not good or anything, you can, on that point, you can throw us out of the league. So that's the only way we got into the league and i'm sure that if it was a, would have been an english club they wouldn't have they wouldn't have had to do that uh, and that year we actually uh, won the second division i don't think we lost a game yorkshire got in touch with me about they were having a lot of problems with racism uh, uh, against yorkshire saying that yorkshire's racist they won't have any asian players and they they gave us the uh, ground, I think after the third year, to play at Park Avenue. And uh, we were going to be given that ground 
to develop Asian cricket. Uh, we played there uh, two or three years, uh, three years I think we played, uh, and things were going quite well. It, it, the trustees uh, of Park Avenue were, I think, some ex-players from Yorkshire, and I think there was like three years left that they wouldn't be given as the ground, and which I was quite surprised. Um, and that's where I thought, well, here we go. This is where the racism comes in. I mean, it was a joke. He said to me, oh, I can say to you, well, they've said we're not going to give it to no packies, the ground. And I just laughed at it. I laughed uh, and I said, oh, didn't you tell them I'm Indian? And that's when I decided, well, if I can't take cricket, Asian cricket, to where I think it should be, then I'm not interested in it. And, and I think we folded the team sort of that year.